Chapter 1 Getting Started with Sledging It was a cold winter day, and the snow-covered hills were calling to us. My friends and I decided to try out a fun winter activity called sledging. We grabbed our sleds and headed towards the nearest hill. Sliding down snowy hills on a sled sounded like so much fun. We couldn't wait to try it out. The hill was steep and covered in fresh, powdery snow. It was the perfect place for some sledging action. We took turns and hopped onto our sleds. With a push we were off. The sled glided down the hill, gaining speed with each passing second. It felt like we were flying. We squealed with joy as the wind rushed past our faces. As we reached the bottom of the hill, we couldn't help but burst into laughter. Sledging was definitely the best winter activity we had ever tried. We couldn't wait to do it again and again. After catching our breath, we climbed back up the hill, eager for another thrilling ride. We could see other children having a blast, sliding down the hill on their sleds, too. It seemed like sledging was a popular winter pastime. One by one, we took our turns and soared down the snowy hill. We couldn't get enough of the adrenaline rush that sledging provided. The crisp winter air and the feeling of speed made us feel alive. As we continued sledging, we noticed that some kids had brought different kinds of sleds. There were classic wooden sleds, colorful plastic sleds, and even some with handles for extra control. It was exciting to see the variety of sleds people were using. After a thrilling afternoon, we reluctantly decided to call it a day. Our legs were tired, but our hearts were happy. Sledging had brought us so much joy and laughter. We knew we would come back soon to enjoy this wonderful winter activity again. As we walked back home, we couldn't stop talking about all the fun we had. We couldn't wait to share our experiences with our families and friends. Sledging had truly made this winter day unforgettable. So, if you ever find yourself surrounded by snowy hills during the winter, don't hesitate to grab a sled and give sledging a try. It's a fantastic activity that will bring laughter and excitement to your day. Just remember to stay safe and enjoy the thrill of sliding down the hills. Winter has never been more exciting. Question, what is sledging? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Choosing the Right Sled Chapter 2, Choosing the Right Sled Imagine a snowy day, with fluffy white snow covering the ground as far as you can see. You are all bundled up in your warmest winter clothes, with a big smile on your face. It's the perfect day for sledging. Sledging is such a fun activity. You grab your sled, which is like a little vehicle made for sliding down hills. With so many different sleds to choose from, it's important to find the right sled for the best sledding experience. First, you need to consider the type of sled you want. There are traditional sleds that are made of wood and have metal runners on the bottom. These sleds can go really fast, but they might be a bit harder to steer. If you are someone who loves a thrilling ride, then this might be the right sled for you. On the other hand, there are sleds made of plastic. These sleds are usually lightweight and easy to carry around. They are great for beginners because they are easier to control. So if you want a more enjoyable experience without too much speed, a plastic sled might be the way to go. Once you decide on the type of sled, it's time to think about the design. Some sleds have fun and bright colors, while others have cool patterns on them. You can even find sleds with your favorite cartoon characters or superheroes. Choosing a sled with your favorite design will make the whole experience even more exciting. Size is also an important factor when it comes to choosing the right sled. If you are a little kid, you will need a smaller sled that fits your size. It's important to feel comfortable and safe while sledding. And if you are a big kid or an adult, you will need a bigger sled to support your weight. Remember, the right sled is the one that fits you just right. Before you start sledding, 
make sure to find a good hill. A hill that isn't too steep or too bumpy is the ideal choice for a smoother ride. If it's your first time sledging, it's better to start with a smaller slope to get used to the feeling. And always remember to choose a hill that is safe and away from any obstacles. Now that you have found the perfect sled, and you are all set up on the perfect hill, it's time to start sledging. Push yourself off and feel the wind rush through your hair. It's such an amazing feeling as you slide down the hill, watching the world pass by in a blur. Sledging is an activity that brings so much joy to everyone, no matter their age. It's a chance to have fun, laugh, and create lasting memories with family and friends. So, remember to choose the right sled, find the perfect hill, and enjoy every moment of this exhilarating experience. So, grab your sled, put on your warmest hat, and get ready for the thrill of sledging down a snowy hill. The adventure awaits, and the fun is about to begin. Question, how important is choosing the right sled? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Safety First While Sledging Chapter 3, Safety First While Sledging Yay, it's time to go sledging, shouted Jenny, her eyes filled with excitement. Jenny and her friends, Tom and Lily, had been waiting for this day for weeks. The snow had finally arrived, and they couldn't wait to slide down the hill on their sledges. Before they could start, though, their parents gathered them around for an important talk about safety. Safety was always important, and their parents wanted to make sure they had a worry-free day of sledding. Listen carefully, said Jenny's dad, Mr. Johnson. We want you to have fun, but we also want you to stay safe. Accidents can happen, so it's important to be cautious. Tom's mom, Mrs. Peterson, added, First, always wear warm clothes and a helmet. That will protect you if you fall. Jenny's mom, Mrs. Johnson, chimed in and make sure to sled in an open area away from trees and other obstacles. We don't want you crashing into anything. Lily's dad, Mr. Smith, continued, Before you start sledging, check the hill for any bumps or holes. Smooth out the snow to make it safer for everyone. The children nodded, understanding the importance of following these safety rules. They didn't want any accidents to spoil their fun. With their parents' words of caution still ringing in their ears, the friends set off to find the perfect sledging spot. They carefully chose a wide and open hill, away from trees and rocks. The snow was fresh and powdery, perfect for a thrilling ride. Jenny went first, positioning herself on her sledge and pushing off. She zoomed down the hill, her scarf flying in the wind. Tom and Lily followed, their laughter echoing in the crisp winter air. As they raced down the hill, they were careful to stay in control. They knew that being reckless could lead to accidents. They stayed on their own sledging paths, giving each other plenty of space. Jenny's heart raced with excitement, as she reached the bottom of the hill. She couldn't wait to go again, but as she climbed back up, she noticed something. There was a big hole right in the middle of the hill. Stop, she shouted, waving her arms to get Tom and Lily's attention. They quickly joined her, and together, they took turns warning other children about the dangerous hole. It turned out that the hole was a buried branch hidden beneath the snow. Without their careful observation, other kids might have slid right over it and gotten hurt. Thanks to their safety-first mindset, Jenny, Tom, and Lily prevented a serious accident. They continued sledging, keeping an eye out for any more hidden dangers. They were grateful for their parents' advice and their own vigilance. By the end of the day, the three friends had tired themselves out with all the sledding. They sat on the snowy ground, catching their breath and reveling in the fun they had had. Today was the best day ever, exclaimed Lily, her cheeks rosy from the cold. And we stayed safe the whole time. Jenny nodded, a smile lighting up her face. Yes, it's so much fun, but we have to be careful. 
safety comes first, even when we're having a blast. With that, the friends gathered their sledges and started the trek back home. They couldn't wait to share their sledging adventures with their parents, knowing that they would be proud of their responsible and safety-conscious behavior. And so Jenny, Tom, and Lily went home that day, their hearts filled with joy and their minds understanding that having a worry-free time sledding meant always putting safety first. Question, why is safety important while sledging? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Mastering Sledging Techniques Sledging is a super fun winter activity that many people enjoy. In Chapter 4, we will learn all about mastering sledging techniques. Are you ready to improve your skills and become a sledging pro? Let's get started. To have a great sledging experience, you need to have good balance. You don't want to fall off your sled, do you? So, before jumping onto your sled, make sure you stand straight and steady. Keep your feet apart, just like when you're building a snowman. This will help you maintain your balance as you glide down the snowy hill. Now that you have a good balance, it's time to learn about steering. Steering is important because it helps you control the direction of your sled. If you want to go left, lean your body to the left side. If you want to go right, lean to the right. Simple right. Remember to keep your hands on the sled handles and use them to steer. With some practice, you will become a steering expert in no time. Another important thing to learn is how to control your speed. Going too fast can be scary, especially if you're just starting out. To control your speed, use your feet as brakes. If you want to slow down or stop, drag your feet in the snow. This will help you slow down gradually, giving you more control over your sled. It's like being your own snowflake speed controller. As you practice your sledging techniques, don't forget to have fun. Sledging is all about enjoying the snowy adventure. Feel the wind caress your face as you zip down the hill and let out a big wee as you race towards the bottom. The more you enjoy sledging, the more motivated you'll be to practice and master your skills. Now that you're becoming a sledging master, it's time to challenge yourself. Find a hill with different slopes and terrains to test your skills. Try going down steeper hills or ones with little bumps. This will help you become more confident and improve your sledging abilities even further. Remember, practice makes perfect. As you gain more experience and confidence, you can even try some tricks. Maybe you can jump off a small ramp or do a 360-degree spin on your sled. But always remember to be safe and wear a helmet when trying new and more advanced tricks. So, my fellow sledging enthusiasts, get out there and conquer those snowy hills. Practice your balance, perfect your steering, and control your speed like a pro. Before you know it, you'll be the one teaching others how to master sledging techniques. Enjoy the ride and have a blast in the winter wonderland. Question, what are some techniques to improve sledging skills? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Fun and Games with Sledging. Fun and Games with Sledging Winter had arrived in the small town of Frostville, bringing frosty winds and fluffy white snow. The children eagerly waited for the weekend, as they knew it meant one thing fun and games with sledging. As the sun glistened on the snow-covered ground, the kids gathered at the top of the hill. They had their sleds ready, all shiny and colorful. Josh had a blue one, Emma had a red one, and Tom had a green one. They loved sled races, and today was going to be the most enjoyable day of all. With a loud countdown of three, two, one, go, the sledges zoomed down the hill. The wind brushed against their cheeks as they giggled with excitement. Emma was leading the race, her red sled gliding effortlessly on the snow. But suddenly a snow mound blocked her way. She quickly swerved to avoid it. But it was too late. Emma's sled tumbled over and she landed in a pile of soft snow. 
Are you okay, Anna? Josh asked worriedly, rushing over to help her up. Yeah, I'm fine, Emma replied, brushing the snow off her jacket. That was a bumpy ride. Tom, who was wearing a mischievous grin, shouted, Next time, watch out for the obstacles. The idea sparked a new game for the friends. They decided to create their own obstacle course for sledging. They marked a trail with flags and placed hurdles made of snow. One by one, they took turns navigating through the obstacles. Some sleds glided smoothly, while others made unexpected twists and turns. It was a challenge, but it was also incredibly fun. Look at me, guys! Josh exclaimed, waving his arms triumphantly. I cleared the hurdles without falling. Everyone clapped and cheered, celebrating Josh's victory. They continued sledging down the hill, inventing new games along the way. They played follow the leader, where one person led the way, making twists and turns for the others to mimic. They laughed and screamed with joy as they tried to imitate each other's moves. As the afternoon sun slowly started to set, the children gathered at the bottom of the hill, catching their breath. Their faces were flushed with excitement and happiness. What an amazing day of fun and games, said Tom, wiping the sweat off his forehead. Emma nodded in agreement. I can't wait to tell my parents about our sled races and obstacle course. Just then, they heard their parents calling them from a distance. It was time to go home and warm up by the fire. As they walked back, pulling their sleds behind them, the children couldn't help but feel grateful for the wonderful day they had shared. The sledging games had brought them closer as friends and filled their hearts with joy. Tomorrow was another day, and they knew there would be more adventures waiting for them on the snowy hills of Frostbow. Question How can sledging be turned into fun games? Check the video description.